So last night we saw a few strong storms here in Metro Detroit, but the worst of it was on the west side of the state. Yeah, and Portage tornadoes heavily damaged a mobile home community and a FedEx building. Alicia Bergio has the details. A devastating situation for those in southwest Michigan last night. The city of Portage near Kalamazoo, one of the hardest hit areas, now left with a major cleanup. It all happened within a minute or two. Storms rolled in quickly. The intensity of the rain ramping up fast with severe lightning and hail. Southwest Michigan in the path of multiple tornadoes. I was actually texting one of my assistant chiefs who lives in the same area. Yeah. And we could hear that train coming. Yeah. You know, and it just still doesn't click. It's like, what is that noise? And that was it. That's when our power went out. And that's when all of a sudden the phone started blowing up and we hit we got a direct hit. Within minutes, buildings were destroyed. The city of Portage near Kalamazoo struck, leaving extensive damage to places including this FedEx facility. You can see the roof caved in with debris scattered across the area. At least 50 workers were trapped inside for a period of time. Fortunately, though, FedEx says no injuries were reported and everyone got out safely. We would like everybody to shelter in place right now. We don't need people driving around on the streets and, and looking at things, although it's interesting to see. Right now, it's still a little bit dangerous. Also dealing with the wreckage, a strip mall. In this video, you see trees toppled onto cars and rubble spread across the lot. Tornadoes ripped through a Portage mobile home park as well collapsing homes and causing widespread damage. Nearly a dozen people were hurt. Their injuries are not serious. Residents still shaken up by the storm. I was on the phone with my daughter who's at a friend's house, turned around and my windows being blown out of my apartment. And I'm like down underneath the mattress. Everything went black and then it was light again. Came out. My apartment's flooded. Several trees, downed wires, and gas leaks have been reported, leaving more than 20,000 people in the dark. And while consumers has crews working to get the lights back on, they estimate that won't happen until later tonight. So we just ask people to check on their neighbors, try to stay off the roads as much as possible, and um, hopefully uh, we'll get through this. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has declared a state of emergency for Southwest Michigan. In the meantime, the Salvation Army has opened two shelters for people displaced by the storm. In studio, Alicia Bergio, CBS News, Detroit.